All right, second thing to make will be the train wheel. So now we're going to make the train wheel. I use the line command. I make one vertical line. And I need to mention it. 1.125. So we can zoom in a little on that. And then now we need to create this. And uh, there's a couple of ways you could do it. Uh, you could just do it. I just usually do it with the line. I was thinking you could actually do the same thing with a rectangle. I may try to do both here. Let me do the line one first. Typically what I do is I would come over, down, and over, down, here, and there's my green dot. And then mention that point to five and this is point five. Let's see what that does. Okay, that worked fine. This is point one two five and this overall that was a little small. Point two five. And I'm gonna do this one too. Okay, I believe I've got everything lined up now, and that would be it. Let me just try something here real quick, if I can recreate that with a couple of rectangles. And, and then do another one right here. Always trying different things. That's how you learn. So this is one point. I saw somebody doing this in class the other day. Um, where was that? Oh, the trim. Trim that line. That line out of there. And then, so I got the same deal. Cool. And then I just let me mention that, the 0.5, and so on and so on. So I would get the same thing. I'm going to delete that. But that would be another way of another way of doing it with rectangles. And that way you know everything is uh, are at 90 degree angles. Probably that would be a better way to do it, the way I just, that one there with the rectangles. That way you know all of these angles are 90 degrees. Okay? So now I just go down and I use the fillet tool. My commands are all weird over there. And this top one is 0.125. And then these other ones are 0.0625 for all these other ones. So I'm going to change that. So is it there? Yep, 0.0625. And now I'm going to just match up with this drawing right here. So I'm going to click on that one and that one and that one. And, oh, that one also needs to be 0.25, I do believe. To make that round. Okay, these two look alike, so I think I got it. And then it's just as easy as this. Doesn't look like a wheel, does it? Watch. I do revolve, picks that automatically, pick my axis, revolve around this point right here. Booyah, look at that. That is pretty cool. How quickly that goes and turns into a wheel. That looks just like that. Okay, now they're going to do a hole, so we'll use the hole method. Fine, um, hole right here, and what they tell you to do is to do a concentric hole, which just means that you got to pick on when it. Oops, try that again. I'm going to use hole. And I do concentric. And then I do this. Why did I put it there? I don't quite get that. Keep getting this in different places. Well, and you see, it just shows you how other people can get the same thing. 
select the whole feature. It should be set to concentric and through all. Select the plane button. Okay, so I guess that's what I didn't do. Select the plane button and click on the face. Is this one here? Oh, face right there. I'm sorry, that was the one, and I got to pick on that right there. And that does that. Now I change it to concentric and plane button and face. Now I got what I need. Thank you. Okay, and this needs to be diameter 0.28. Really interesting number, 0.28. That's because of our peg. Uh, and through all and concentric. And what else have I got to do? Concentric reference, this thing. Yep, and then I get my OK. Just as easy would it be to make a plane right there, draw your circle, and do it. I did that with somebody the other day. It's really easier, but... I'm following their instructions for right now. Okay, so yeah, they did all kinds of stuff, but they ended up getting the same thing I got. Okay, and now I need to create a sketch on this inside surface. We're gonna put that little peg there, and that's kind of the tricky thing. Right click on your mouse, that was a right click. Slice graphics, so I'm looking at it straight on. Let me turn it so that I'm looking at it just like this. And you draw if you follow these instructions, you're drawing, literally, I'm drawing a circle out here somewhere. And it is, and then I want to dimension it so that it is from here to here. It's 0.7. And from and what is the diameter of this thing? Quarter of an inch, apparently. Okay, so let's make that. Point two five. And then you use this horizontal constraint right here. And I click the center point of this and the center point of this. And it lines it up and makes them horizontal with each other, which is kind of cool. And I now have that where I need it to be, I believe. And so I'm going to finish my sketch. And I'm going to extrude my little circle here. One quarter of an inch. And there's my peg. And now I need to sketch on the top of that. Sorry, keep, keep clicking there. And now I need to actually zoom in on that because now I need a circle. Use the same center point, so it's a concentric circle. I draw this line here, and it will have a dimension of 0.125. And then I finish my sketch and I extrude that 0.125. So then I get this. And then again, they love the whole command. So they're going to do whole command on that guy, whole command. 0.0625 is my diameter. 0.0625 diameter. And a depth of 0.25. See if these numbers stay when I do all these other things here. Okay. I'm going to be concentric. And then the plane will be on the top of this. And my concentric reference will just be this thing here. That centers it. Puts the hole in the middle and apply. Okay, and I'm done with that. Actually, I'm going to get rid of that sketch because that was a sketch I didn't need. All right, so that's where you have to be. And this should look like, hopefully this looks like, that looks like it's sticking out a lot, but I guess it's not. All of this stuff after this, I am not going to do that because I just, I never liked it. It doesn't work well. 
um, what I'm going to do is tell you this, just like I did in class, is sketch on this surface right here, just make a new sketch, and make some kind of a design. I'm going to do a little hexagon this time. You can do a hexagon, you can do a little ellipse thing, make a moon shape, I don't care what you do. So you can do that. And now what you do is I finish my sketch, I'm going to cut it all the way through, let's make it a bunch. I'll cut it all the way through. And then I'm going to just do a little circular pattern thing. Whatever design you make, play around with this a little bit. Kind of fun, kind of cool. There you go. I got that. My rotational axis as I click on anything like that. Um, you want to try so that it doesn't cut out part of this. This one actually, that number works out well. It doesn't affect this at all. So I'm going to say, okay. And I got that. All right. That's fine. I'm going to leave it like that. There's my wheel. Um, this time, let's see, where's my uh, my materials? Let's change the color of this thing if I can, if I can get this to drop down. Oop, almost out of time because of all that other stuff I was doing. So I'll just pick a color here up here at the top. Let's make it uh, black vinyl. How's that? That, look, that should look kind of wheel-like. And you can play around with this a little bit. Okay, that didn't work out too well. I apparently didn't get that but I got something else but you can click on this and you can change the properties change the color on the inside so I can make that aluminum and say it looks like that and wow I really don't like that color blue clear that is not what I was asking for so I'm going to do that again because I can't leave this like this on the internet that would be embarrassing uh, much better okay there now that's looking cool so I got this aluminum center, I got this, that's looking good. Okay, there's my train wheel, I'm done, thank you.